What's up everybody, Matt Moran here. So recently I was flown to Sonoma, California at Sonoma Raceway by the Project Cars 2 team and they wanted me to drive the McLarens on track, the 570S in particular, um, and then also try driving it in their new game, Project Cars 2. So it was a really fun day. We started off uh, you know, with a basic little overview of the cars and whatnot, and then we went on to a skid pad and did two basic exercises just to uh, you know, familiarize ourselves with how the car handled and whatnot. There was a basic uh, slalom course there that they kind of guided us through, and then we did it on our own to kind of uh, you know, test the limits a little bit. And then we also did an apexing exercise, which uh, kind of showed us how to properly hit the apex, and even you know, like in this instance, a late apex, and how to uh, take your time to you know, hit the apex at the right time. And uh, all this was just to familiarize ourselves, you know, a little bit. Then we had a classroom session where they gave us an overview of the track and, you know, uh, gave a rundown of, you know, what to expect and, uh, you know, how we were going to be doing things. And then we went out on the actual track here. Uh, and I was in the 570S. They also did have a 650S and an MP412C and some 570GTs as well. We were in the, me and uh, Jason Engineering Explained were uh, teamed up and we rode in the uh, 570S there. And uh, it was a lot of fun. I'd never driven a McLaren on track. I'd only driven a McLaren once uh, before for any reasonable amount of time, and that was uh, last year for only about 10 minutes, uh, the 570 GT. And so um, it was really awesome to drive them on track. They're very impressive cars. The only really critique I had was that, uh, you know, we had to keep the trash control systems in sport, which was good, you know, for our own safety, uh, you know, trying to familiarize ourselves with the cars. But the system was still really conservative, and, you know, there were times where it was safe for me to add more throttle, but it was giving me no more throttle whatsoever, um, which is something kind of interesting I didn't expect I expected the uh, trash control systems and stuff to be a little more intelligent than they were uh, at least here you know for the 570s but anyway it was still a fantastically fun time I learned a lot you know it only being my like fourth time uh, doing a track day and you know so we only had uh, two different sessions uh, and one was kind of a little bit of a slower session the other one was a faster session and I mean we still weren't going super fast as you can see we were being led by um, a EcoBoost Mustang actually it was driven by the instructor which uh, more or so goes to show just how good the instructors are. They were flying in these things, and you know, we felt like we were pushing these McLarens pretty decently, at least for our skill levels. And, um, you know, so to be paced by an EcoBoost Mustang showed just how awesome these drivers were. And all the uh, all the guys there we were working with were all fantastic instructors, and uh, we really had a fun time uh, in that first half of the day there on track in the McLarens. Then we went in the afternoon uh, and actually played Project Cars 2. And the uh, first thing that I did, now there's a bunch of different setups, um, you know, as far as a full virtual reality thing with an Oculus Rift and a whole rig, uh, all the way down to just a basic game controller and everything in between. Um, but I wanted to, you know, first try it out uh, with the same 570S on the same track, Sonoma Raceway, there in the game and kind of see just how close it was. And I have to say, it's pretty realistic. It's it, it's very good if you're doing everything correctly. You know, if you're uh, driving the same way we did with the instructor and you take the right line and you're very disciplined, then it feels very realistic. If you do want to hoon around a bit, uh, it still has, uh, I think, a little bit more of an aggressive breakaway point than a car does in real life. That's just my own little assessment from playing it for a couple of hours here. Uh, but it still is a very realistic, I mean, the graphics are pretty good. The cars and stuff are all very detailed and look beautiful. Um, the, some of the surroundings and whatnot uh, could have looked a little better, you know, like the uh, spectators in the crowd and stuff um, looked a little low res and, uh, you know, a little old fashioned as far as the graphics go there. But the uh, all the stuff in this game, though, the, one of the really impressive things was they were telling us how the environments in this game are so uh, impressively detailed and realistic, where they have a full 24 uh, hour uh, cycle for the sun. So the shadows and everything are correct. And you can pick the time of day you're racing at. And the weather is very impressive where, you you know, they've even modeled every little storm drain and all the tracks and all that. So uh, all the water ponds and floods in all the correct places and heavy downpours and everything. And it's all extremely realistic. You know, the grass gets saturated, but soaks up some of the rain until a certain point, And then it starts to flood as well. All these types of things that are really impressive how much they've gone into it. And I mean, I'm not much of a gamer, so I don't have a ton of uh, experience with racing games. So this is by no means a comprehensive review or anything like that. Um, but from my time playing it, it was a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, they have a decent amount of 
cars. I think they said about 170 cars. Um, there were still some, uh, you know, they have all the main brands, you know, Ferrari, Porsche, even, you know, all those big ones. Um, but there were still a few cars that I wish that they had that they did not have. Um, you know, it's definitely more focused on the racing cars and the race prep cars, uh, more so than street cars, although they do have a decent amount of street cars as well. But, um, you know, it would have been cool to have you know, some of the other stuff, like, uh, for example, the Ferrari F12, Berlinetta wasn't in there, or the TDF, you know, some of my favorite cars there. But they did have some other stuff, like, uh, you know, an Aston Martin DB11 and some more tame vehicles like that as well. Um, but it was uh, really fun, especially the virtual reality uh, thing with the Oculus Rift. I'd never done one of those before, and that was uh, pretty crazy to uh, experience there. Almost made me a little motion sick, uh, just because I sometimes get uh, motion sick with uh, VR stuff like that. Um, but it was really impressive. I mean, it was pretty crazy. You know, my arms were perfectly lined up with the in-game character, and it was mimicking all of my motions exactly, and uh, it was, it really puts, <laughs> puts you in there and makes it feel very, very realistic and was a very cool setup and cool to experience that as well. But yeah, we just had a great time. It was awesome also, you know, hanging out with, like I said, Jason, Engineering Explained, David Patterson, uh, and a bunch of others we met there, Marcus from Roads Untraveled and a few others. So really great to, you know, meet some of these guys for the first time and uh, all hang out and play some video games and drive on track in some McLarens. Not a bad day whatsoever. So I just want to give a huge thanks once again to the Project Cars 2 team for flying us out there and giving us the experience. It was a lot of fun. Um, but let me know what you think about uh, Project Cars 2 here. It's going to be coming out September 22nd. Um, and let me know what you think about this video in the comments below. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.